Righto. So here's video two of the Atom XL. I think it's about six months in, give or take. And the like the phone itself's still been working pretty well, except for one thing, and that's just because of the way the speaker's uh, facing. And I work with a lot of steel. It's actually compacted a lot of steel into there, which I don't know if that meets its IP68 rating or not, what the story is, but what actually happened is it forced a bunch of steel into the speaker, and the speaker works. It's just really, really crackly, and it sounds bloody awful. Other than that, the phone's... This side's pretty all right. It's taken, you know, it's got the usual wear and tear. It has taken a bit of a knock, you know, SIM card's got a decent dent in it now, I actually had to file that down to get it to work. And a lot of that is because I drive around in a lifted ute, it's one I'm in at the moment. And I've got a concrete driveway at home, so pretty much every time I get out of the vehicle, the uh, phone's in the pocket, and it pretty much falls straight onto the ground, which if I was at home it'd be, um, be concrete, but I'm not actually, I'm just in a, in a metal dump at the moment. But yeah, that's pretty much what happens. So it's taken a good few knocks. Like it's been dropped, you know, a few good meter knocks quite a few times. But yeah, what I'm making this video about is actually uh, what happened was I called up, um, I called up Unihertz because I couldn't think of any other way to sort out the problem. I looked online. There is no information on these whatsoever. It's ridiculous how little information there actually is on a phone like this. And I decided I'll hit up their support, I'll give them a go and see what they can do. And hit them up, told them my error. They seemed pretty keen on helping me. And I got the whole typical thing of, oh, you know, you're going to have to send the phone to us and we'll figure out a plan from there, we'll fix it up. And I looked online and there were people in America, people in Germany, people all over the world that have, because um, there's a lot of these out there, but no one really gives out much information on them. So there are people around the world that had sent them in for repairs, and like, these are much bigger countries. I'm in New Zealand, we're in the middle of nowhere, it's impossible to get anything out here. And these people have been saying they've been waiting a year to get their device back. So I told them this, I said, look, you know, I live too far away. Ended up writing out quite a, um, like, not a sob story email, but basically just explaining how I got a bit disappointed on everything that had happened. And I waited a while. I'd pretty much given up by this point. Nothing was happening. I was sitting around, I was using a phone with a speaker that wasn't working properly, and it was just a joke. I couldn't answer phone calls properly because the speaker was, um, it was just really crackly. It got quiet, and that's all that had happened. I couldn't tell when my phone was going. My alarm, my alarm in the morning was just shocking. The rest of the phone still worked fine. Like the only other thing that's happened is the... Um, USB-C port filled up with rubbish and what I ended up doing was just clearing all that out with um, with a needle and just poked it away but uh, I originally thought the cable had jammed up and I thought I thought it had actually worn out the port but the port's still healthy it was just really really packed with rubbish so after back to the Unihertz story after a while I'd given up I hadn't heard from them for like a month so I bought another phone I bought the Atom L, which is what I'm recording the video with now, because I really do like this phone. It's just fits perfect to the hand for me, and it's a pretty strong phone. Like it's basically something that that can survive and not cause me much trouble. There's you know, new phones that tend to break a hell of a lot, so I decided it was the phone to use, and um, yeah, I decided I had to have another one. So I forked out for another one, and I made a little, um, so I got it somewhere here, it was like a bit of mesh. I dropped it down somewhere, but what I did was I got a bit of CRT TV. Let's just cut away, there it is. I cut out the, I smashed the screen and cut out a little bit, and got just a tiny bit of mesh. And I put it over the speaker that's in there. And I thought, you know, I super glued it to the phone, you know, of course, redneck style. And my whole thought was, it'll you know maybe do something and the speaker in this started crackling up just the other day so i ripped the mesh off to have a look at what was going on and you know thinking on uh, back to square one again and the bloody uh, 
what happened is it had a real fine layer of dust so I cleared all that out the speaker still worked fine underneath so I think of anything that's the solution is really really fine mesh and I just gave it a good clean out and put it back on it's like new again I just keep getting sidetracked I, um, after buying this new phone, I got an email from Unihertz saying that they can't actually send me the phone. There was actually an email asking for some more money because they the postage that was on it, because I live in rural New Zealand, which is way, way, way away from anything, basically. They said, look, we just can't send it to you. We can send it to you, but it's going to be... It's going to be very slow and take a long time. So if you want the phone to come at a reasonable time, you're going to have to pay up uh, extra, I think it was an extra 30 US. It was like probably around 50 bucks postage just to get the phone here. So I did that, and about two days later, I got an email from them. Now this is, this is probably a good month or so ago now. I got an email from them saying that they talked to their IT department about the original phone. And they've come to realize the situation and seen that they will, um, well, not their IT department, their um, parts department, and they're willing to send me out a speaker. So I eventually did get one out of them. It's exactly how I got it. It just came in the mail today. I got the package and show what's in it because I've been looking around at trying to jerry rig one up, just make something work better than what I already have. And it's just. It wasn't going to work, so basically I somehow managed to get a genuine speaker out of them, sent for 35 US plus postage to my house. It took about a month to turn up, but I got it, and it's going to go on the phone tonight, and that'll see. We'll see if that fixes the problem, but I reckon if they can, if their parts department is happy to do this, if they were willing to do this on a larger basis, like, most people aren't too worried about warranties. If they were willing to send out more parts like this, it would really help out a lot of people to get these phones more out there. Or even, you know, send out, get people, send out blueprints or figure out some aftermarket ones. It really help people out with making these, but that's my solution. And once that's in, like, I've had this phone apart. It's just a few screws on the back, and I'll try to take some photos of it and see if I can get them on, but that's Basically, what is a few screws, pull it apart, swap the speaker out, put the new one in, and it should be good as new, hopefully. So, yeah, I'm hoping this helps anyone. I don't know if it will or not, but that's just my experience so far. I still love the phone. It hasn't given me any other issues, but I'm pretty sure it's just situational for me. I can't exactly tell, but I'm always around real fine dust, grinding dust, all sorts of that kind of thing. And yeah, I think that's pretty much what's done most of the damage. I'm still bloody happy with the phone.